again, he, they are better when he's on the field. But long before the season ended, we started talking about his impending departure. Is it likely that he leaves Detroit? There was a time this, this season where it seemed like Ndamukong Sue would play somewhere other than Detroit. At this point, he may be the next best defensive player in the NFL after J.J. Watt. Yeah, after J.J. Watt. Right. All right, let's say for the sake of argument, though, he does move on and look at some potential landing spots field. Who's at the top of the list? I think a team that will come to mind is the Oakland Raiders. They're flush with cap space, finally, after years of being on the other side of the cap situation. Then also, their new head coach, Jack De who can make the play. So this will be a good good matchup for uh, that offense. See, we already have him in a Raiders jersey. We have all this fancy technology. So look, we're going to make him right now. Special effects. Well, why Let's make him a Cleveland Browns. I don't know about that one. What about the Browns? I don't know about that one. Another well, team that's in I, don't, a healthy, I don't know if it's coloring. Another team's in a healthy cap spot. <laughs> the thing about the Browns, their base defense is a 34 front. So he's probably playing that defense. To the playoffs and winning in the playoffs. Yeah, and I think that's been a big too. issue. It's been it a big issue for Cincinnati. Yes. They have not been able to get over the hump. You bring a guy like Sue in, he can get you over the hump. He's that kind of player that if you're missing one piece of the puzzle, he can add that piece and get you over the hump. All right, I don't know if that fits this next scenario exactly, but <laughs> let's go. Oh, going to Chicago. Chicago, yeah. Chicago Bears. Pass, pass, I like the blue. You can stay in the NFC North, face your old team twice a year. But unfortunately for the Bears, they need more than yeah. Sue yeah. to fix the, some of the problems that they have. All right, so that's, uh, we, we devoted a healthy amount of time to Indomitian and Sue, and there's a, a good reason for that. He will likely set the market, and, and a lot of folks waiting to see what happens there before some of these other folks fall into place. However, let's a few potential free agents still dealing with off the field issues. Greg Hardy among them. He remains on the commissioner's exempt list. How does that affect his free agency? We're dealing with some uncharted territory. In yeah, a lot we, we really. The Carolina defense struggled, especially early in the season, getting used to, especially in the secondary, We're getting used to not having that clock because of that pass rush wasn't there. Yeah, it took three players to replace him. It wasn't easy. Right. Having said yep. that, it, it's apparent Carolina's moving on. The question is, what's next for Greg Hardy? I, the other question, what's up for a game that's taking place before the All-Star break? But that's the fact. Bruce Bowen is here with us, ESPN NBA analyst. What will you especially be looking for defensively from the Hawks as they look to contain the Warriors? Locating those shooters in Golden. Got this morning about how Steph Curry was going off lately, or early and often, and if he felt nauseous, and Teague told him, no, I don't feel nauseous, I'm a basketball fan. That's right. The reality is, Bruce, how do you defend Steph Curry from killing you? Well, you have to take away his, sp oh, but they're just doing this. No, it's lovely to see when everyone has an opportunity to have an impact on the team. And be the hero. You never know who's going to get that last shot. Bruce Bowen, thank you. Boom. More NBA from the sidelines. And look, you guys all have your own personal memories of what it's like to be on the sideline winning a Super Bowl. What's the moment that really stands out to you? Not when you were out there like taking the trophy and everything, but from the actual sideline. Well, I was privileged to be right on the field. And he's a great person, great teammate to have in the locker room. Mm -hmm. Awesome to be around. Yeah. Absolutely. Great teammate. Um, you know, and he's, he's always working extremely hard too. Um, you know, in the weight room. Uh, his rehab that he had this off season, um, you know, he came, he came. Right. I've had an ACL injury, so I know what it's like to, to try and come back from that. Mm -hmm. And you know, he came back stronger, and just he had a phenomenal year. Well, it is very cool to to be able to have a guy on your team that is literally like energy bottled up, <laughs> exploding mm -hmm. all the time. <laughs> and that is Grunk. Uh, we're gonna play a little.